Okay, so that was the Ruger 1022 with standard 38 grain American Eagle hollow points with 1250 feet per second muzzle velocity. And I was shooting from about 270 yards away. Um, over there by where that gate is, but across in, by that open patch on the other side of the road is where I was shooting from. About 270 yards. And it seems like six of them hit from the video. And there's, you can see a few holes in this, and then some exits. And then some holes in here that weren't there before. And we could only find three marks on the barrel though, which are here, here, and here. So none of them penetrated. They went through this quarter inch of plywood and then bounced off this barrel at 270 yards. And we managed to find two of the projectiles, which are both right here. And that's all we could find so far though. And just these three marks. We're not sure. That might be a new one. That might be and this might be. So one actually might have penetrated. But it actually, I think it did, but I don't know. I'll look inside so we the, barrel. the barrel out. And we actually found two projectiles so it did penetrate the barrel. Those three that we found on the side that bounced off, I think it's just because it hit at an angle like this. And the one that did penetrate, I'm pretty sure one of them's right there. It hit at a flat angle. But we found two projectiles inside. So it went through both layers of its mattress, this little mattress thing, the half inch of plywood, and that barrel, but then bounced off the other side at about 270, 275 yards. So that's still plenty of energy to at least penetrate one side of your skull, I'm pretty sure. Quarter inch of plywood, two sides of a mattress and a barrel.